Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Well, let's go with the new stuff, man. Let's go with the fresh. This is my last video for now with my friend Taylor Roberts. Taylor is a guitar player for the band Taproot, and he has his own band, Riding with Killers, where he sings and he plays the guitar. He'd never heard of Ren, so I wanted to change that. I'm a big Ren fan. I think the guy's awesome. I'm excited for him for having the number one album in the UK. It's very cool. So we'll jump into this together. This was his newest release, which I think is awesome. But let's see what Taylor thinks. Let's see what he has to say about Ren. Let's do this. Okay, so this is Ren. You have not heard of Ren. I'm real oh, excited no. to say that he has the number one album in UK right now. So it's really, really dude. Cool. That's let's go. That's awesome. The guy's a bro. He seems like such a great dude. He's actually commented on the channel a couple times when I first watched. It was a different video. It was a video called "Hi Ren," and uh, if you like this, you'll, that's the next one to listen to. I was just floored, man. I, I just, I, you know, you just don't know what to say. I'm like, it's just that was yeah. so good. Anyway, this is his newest release. It's called Money Game Part 3. There is Part 1 and there is Part 2. You can check those out too. You'll like them. I do. But uh, this one was another one where I just was like, God, you're talented. So we got nine minutes. I hope you like it. Otherwise, you got to bear with me for 10 minutes. But you can let me know what you think. <laughs> Let's do it. One years old and his first words were mine, mine, gimme Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly Four years old he was running round the pavements of his city Five years old and his daddy told him Listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man A man he works for what he wants Six years old and he's reading writing Top of the bunch and when he's seven His progression made him student number one Eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends 
Fourteen solving complex mathematical equations at fifteen IQ one hundred and fifty still elevating. Sixteen he develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. Seventeen and he sells his vision, keeping the share. Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. Eighteen and his daddy tells him, "Now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can." Nineteen he turns a profit, stocks and shares invest. Product 20 double down deposits 21 his income rockets 22 he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth If you manipulate the data then the lie will sell itself 23 a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine 24 he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name 25 and his daddy tells him Listen here son, while you're sitting in that palace That don't mean that you won 26 a business shift, he switches business to arms He's 27 dealing nuclear and shells in Iran 28 inside the Senate, money bought him a seat He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's suite Now he's 30, his daddy says you're losing the race You're just a servant to the king, not even in second place 31, a big manoeuvre for his daddy's approval Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba 32, moving grams, growing kilos to tons He's 33, filling warehouses with powder and guns 34, turf war with nobody to stop it Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket Thirty-five, he gets the call I'm sorry son, but it's your father Had a heart attack, I'm sorry he's gone Thirty-six, getting pissed off, abusing his product Thirty-seven, eyes glazed, this position demonic Thirty-eight, with a prostitute, a moment of passion Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon Thirty-nine, getting breathless and hungry for power Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed they retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward A bullet buried in his vertebra And one in his leg The doctor sighs and says I don't think you'll be walking again Fuck Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy He was 40 and he cursed the words Mine, mine, gimme 41 he wasn't walking 42 not walking quickly 43 never running round the pavements of his city 44 inside a palace with a mountain of gold But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need And his example is exaggerated versions of me And it's a version of him And it's a version of she And it's a version of you There's no escaping the blame The way we live is parasitic Fuck the money and fame Cut the music This isn't entertainment, this is real life. The way we live is lunacy, community, it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention, politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas, did I mention? Borders an invention, law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other? My solution? Everything is subject to change. 
We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd if there's more money for me. Then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Forty-five. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking the game. He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate. With a 45 caliber aimed at his brain. 45 a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Here's the words of his father. It's such a damn shame. Then he presses on the trigger of a money game. What do you guys <laughs> That's uh that that that'll put you in an interesting headspace, man. Yeah, it's the second time I've actually watched it, and it was a complete different experience than the first. I think I digested it a lot better this time. Uh, yeah, um, the visuals were incredible. I mean, like it, it kept my attention the entire time. You know, um, that was heavy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very heavy. Like, like what a story that he just told. It's interesting. Yeah, I got, I don't know, the first time I think I was watching it, uh, not to steal your reaction away, but I, <laughs> this guy's difficult to just be bland about because there's so much going on and there's so much raw talent. And that's what I like about him as an artist. And so the first time I saw it, I was just mesmerized at the talent in this, in the film as well, because it's like a mini film. And then the way they oh, show yeah. everybody coming in and out, it's watching a stage play. Yeah, uh, but this time actually really digesting all of what he was saying about this fictitious character, Jimmy. So, uh, but uh, what were your thoughts? What were you focused on more first time around? Um, I mean, I won't lie. That kind of put me in a melancholy place. Like it, it, it's, I don't want to say it ruined my mood, but like, you know what I mean? We went from happy and having a good fucking time to uh, holy fucking shit. Like this man that just threw his life away and wasted all his time. Now he's about to fucking blow his brains out. Like, um, I don't know, man. It was, it, but it was so cool at the same time. Like, like you said, the visuals, like the, the coloring, the, the, the palette choice, the costume choice, um, the, the piano at the beginning with the fucking knapsack and, and that, that was a very cool visual um it was uh it was it was cool but like i said man like i i know i probably feel like like i went from one uh, you know side of the emotional spectrum to the other but i mean like music has the ability to transport you there and now that i had that visual aid with that it, it just yeah. I mean, bravo. He, I, I know that's what he set out to accomplish with that. It's not, it's not rainbows and sunshine. It's a, it's a, it's a think piece for sure. Um, I mean, but it's very, very good. Yeah. Um, you know, there's no denying that whatsoever, you know, from, I don't know if you would really call it, it's, it's a song, but it's almost like spoken word at the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but it's 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 a journey for sure um yeah man i i, I don't know that one uh it's intense. Said, that one just put me in a strange place all right well um maybe we'll do one quick it was one good more. i'm not saying i don't like it it's just it's yeah. one it's it's the complete it, it's like if we were to go from listening to taking off by one okay rock and we're having a great time 
And then we turn around and you put on fucking 3110 by RKCB. I don't know if you've ever heard that song, but oh my fucking, it's beautiful. It'll make you cry if you're in the right spot. But like, it's one of those songs that while it's, while it's a great song, like if you listen to it, it can transport you there immediately and yeah. leave you in, 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 a, in a mood. And that's what that just did. You know, totally. so like I really appreciate where that took me. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And and I, I like the fact that first go around, it was able to get me there. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not like I have to digest it um and listen to it again to to feel, you know, the emotional response that I would assume he's trying to elicit. Um, but it was very cool. Very cool. Um Definitely badass. Super sad, but definitely badass. Okay, so of all the bands we listened to, too, if there was to be one more video, well, <laughs> there's always more video, but uh, what would be the, the the band that you would want to listen to another track from first? Mm. What was the band? Was it was it Hormone Maximum? Maximum the Hormone. That was close. That, that was uh, where... Um, it was more groovy in terms of of the music. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, said- it was either them. I, I would say them would, would be probably my first go to. Because I think that was the one I told you was my favorite track you had played so far that night, and I still think that holds true. Um, but the other band with um the black and red dreads, like uh, from Japan. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I, like, like I'm, 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 I'm frizzle fried. I'm, I know. I'm for the night, it's been a long day. All right, well, I'll let you go. I always appreciate your time. And next time around, we'll pick one of those bands to listen to first. We'll pick another track of this. Absolutely, this was fun, man. I had a great time. I uh, once we got into it, I just, I just fell into the motion, and uh, it'd be fun to do more videos, especially because you're, you're introducing me to new music, and especially, and I like the fact that it's not just American bands. Cause I, I, I love, you know, otherworldly bands and, and, and bands from other parts of the world. So I, I just said the same thing twice. That should tell you where, where I'm getting to. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, While you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.